Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Spunty's Reign. When last we left off, we had managed to win a tournament by the skin of our teeth, because we are not very healthy right now. We have a small army of 60 men that we are currently uh, training up, for the most part, and we have a few prisoners, which I'm hoping will start joining our team. Yes! Swaddy and Footman, welcome to the team. Your entire objective is to go into this castle and never come out. Nine footmen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, why don't we just give you guys the militiamen and we just take the nine footmen? That sounds pretty good. Here we go. So we have 7,737 dinars, which is good. And to be honest, I don't really care about the five Swanian skirmishers right now. However, our morale is not great. And I wouldn't mind if our morale got a bit better, which means we're going to have to go buy some more food, because an army cannot survive on sausages alone. Much that I wish it could. Three Swanian footmen escaped during the night. Right, so, uh, there went that plan. Now we're under 57 men. Are any of you guys going to join me yet? I want those Swadian uh, men-at-arms. I really do. So let's take out four more Swadian militiamen. One, two, three, four. There we go. So, oh, wait, we have one too many now. Was it just three Swadian militiamen, um, footmen that escaped? Yeah, it must have been. Anyway, 141 men is not bad for a castle. It's mostly trash, though, but uh, the AI doesn't seem to worry about that. I can't recruit from these guys. I can recruit from Maduna, though. Ah, oh, my... Relation with Lord Raffard deteriorated a lot. Why? Why did it deteriorate? See, this is the whole, like, Lords thing that I don't appreciate. These guys don't like me anyway, so why on earth should I have them with me? I can defend my kingdom alone! <laughs> Do they just dislike me because I don't haven't given them a castle? I'm not giving them one of my territories. They'll hate me even more! I'll have them. Dump them off in this castle. This is my kingdom. You're welcome to come along, but please be, um... Please don't be surprised if I keep everything. Yeah, his relationship with me has deteriorated as well. Kingdom of the Rodox have taken Harangoth Castle. You took Harangoth Castle from them? Nice, well done. I get the feeling these guys aren't going to stay long in my kingdom. This isn't a problem. I mean, if you don't want to hang around, don't hang around. Just don't waste my time and ha join my group and then realize that I have nothing to offer you. I am, after all, an old man. I know I really should give them something, but I'm nervous to do so. I mean, I could give one of them Tadsamesh. I could. I just don't know where any of them are. Like, I really would give one of them something. I just have no clue where they are located. <laughs> like, where are my dudes? Are they here, or...? I mean, I could give one of them Tadsamesh. Keep one of them around. The one that hates me the least. Give them a village, and at the very least, when they go, they, uh... They won't steal it. You guys have no food. This is a little unfortunate. So, where are they? See, look. I'm not exactly rich. 1,659 dinars. That's because I don't have a lot of things guarding anything. I mean, I'm soon not going to be breaking even. Soon I'm going to actually have to start thinking about 
like putting another enterprise down just to make more cash. So where are my men? The Kurgic Carnet have declared war on the Rodox. Now this is something I can take advantage of. The Rodox and the Kurgit at war with one another? This is talking my language. The language of Yes, please, I would like to own, like, Nara or Halmar. Preferably Nara. Or this, this castle. Three castles would do. Well, to be fair, two castles and a town. I really want these people to declare war with each other. But they won't. Wait, Lord Raffard just looted a mere. So that's where he is. So Lord Raffard is, in fact, doing stuff. Lord Raffard dislikes me minus... And he's also suspicious. Let's go to Lord Raffard and give and and give him something. Like give him this tap this village. Cause clearly Lord Raffard is doing stuff. <coughs> Cause he just looted a mere. Alone. He's doing some of my work for me. To be fair, I wouldn't loot places, but there you go. And that's being raided. Clearly, it's being raided by one of us. One of my, uh, valiant men. Let's go to Ushkuru and see what we can find. Probably one of my own men from Spuntitopia. I could give them Tadsamesh. It's not the worst thing I could do. Yeah, Lord Raffard, there you are. Hello. Why don't you like me? Hmm. Uh, what are you and your men doing? No, I, I can't do anything with him yet, because he doesn't even... I can't give him a castle. No, I could go to, um... could go to Rindiar, possibly, and do that. I could probably go to Rindiar and give him something. Ah, the Nords and the Swadians peace treaty has expired. Hmm. I would like to give one of them something. See, look, there's... There's him. I'd like to give Raffard something. At the very least, Raffard might like me. A little more. i give him Tadzamesh. So, let's go to the Lord's Hall. There's nobody else that wants to actually work with me. Let's give him Tadzamesh. Uh, how do I assign him something? This is actually an interesting question. How do I do this? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to give him this castle. This, uh... No one accepts. No shock there. Hmm. This is tricky. Well, I want to give him Tadsamesh. But I can't, because I don't know how to do it. Ishimara Castle is no longer under siege. Maybe he'll just slowly start hating me more and more. I can recruit some villagers. This seems like a good idea. <laughs> that place has been looted. Everywhere is being looted. Oh dear. Well, at least it's uh, doing the job. They are at least providing a distraction for me. While they're doing all of that, nobody is paying attention to poor King Spunty as he slowly trains an army. 
Mm, how are Unun Castle and uh, and Nara protected? Nara is probably absurdly protected. So is Halmar, I'd rager. Hello, deserters. Nineteen Swadian skirmishers. He's gone in exile to the kingdom of the Rodox. Thing is, with a small kingdom like mine, is that uh, oh, it keeps deteriorating. Wow, he is not going to be around very long, is he? I should have waited until I actually had something to offer him. Oh well. We'll provide a distraction, if nothing else. 142 men. That's it. That's all Un Castle has. 142 men. It's not a lot of men, actually. Admittedly, that's the man who owns it right there. <laughs> yep, and his relationship with me is deteriorated. 153. 153 is not a lot of men. It's really not a lot of men. Like, that's not a lot of people. What about Nara? Like, if I could capture Nara or Halmar and just give them the territory, like, that would be the ideal situation. And then I'd actually have something to give them. We'd lose it. But I'd then have something to give them. And that guy has run away to the kingdom of the Rodox. What about Nara? Nara is absurdly well guarded. Do I really want to fight both Halm both the Kurgit and the Swadians? The answer to this question is of course no. I would be stupid to do that. I would really be dumb. Like, why would I want to fight both of them? Pardon me. Hey, he's got my lucky number worth of troops. Fighting both of them would be ridiculous. I can't give them anything. Like, I can't give them any of my... It's probably because I don't actually have a minister. That's probably why it is. How is my morale? It's gone back to high. Well, at least it's something. No one accepts my offer. Boo! You should accept. You should join my amazing force. <laughs> These people are just going to have a deteriorating relationship with me until they just eventually leave. As I suppose. I've just got to look at it from the bright side of at least while they're there. The other thing I could have done was just leave them in my, um, my lord's town. And as long as they were left there, they, um, they wouldn't be on the battlefield, which would just mean less and less lords to face. I should have waited until I had something to give them. Both of you guys are useful. I can't really have you just not be um, in my party anymore. All people are ready to upgrade. This army's getting expensive to maintain. However, I probably shouldn't need... You can I... No, I can't recruit them yet. I probably shouldn't need many more people. Okay. More, pe more places being raided. I want these guys to complain to me and go, I want you to give me something. And I'll be like, yes, I will give you this. And the other guy will be like, what about me? And I'll say, I'm sorry, but the first guy got here first. You get nothing. So, when we come back, folks, we'll watch the deteriorating relationship of my lords as every day I refuse to give away one of my four pieces of territory. You picked the wrong side to defect to. Not that I, I appreciate it, but you still picked the wrong side. So, I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.